So, we're going to do a little lab on screen capturing. Now, the software you're looking at right now, this is a screen capture uh, video software. It's called OBS. You will not need to use this, um, but if you are interested in recording your own videos online, this is a wonderful, wonderful software. I highly recommend it. It's, I believe it stands for Open Broadcast Software, OBS. Anyway, that being said, I'm going to show you how to take screenshots of your display and turn them into JPEGs. So, if you will, I'm going to go ahead and show you down here. I'm going to open up Maya. Now, here in Maya, here is my image that I'm using. And I'm going to... I just have a sphere here. It's just so I have some type of you know visual representation to show you uh, that this actually works. So I'll even highlight it. Now the way there's a number of different ways to do this. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you one way first, and then I'll show you other ways. So the first way to show you how to do this is to simply, on my personal computer I have multiple displays, so I hold ALT when doing this. When holding ALT, I hit print screen. Now all that does, holding ALT, is it only takes a screenshot of one display. If I just press print screen by itself, it will have numerous displays, and you'll see what I mean in just a moment. So, we'll go ahead and go to here. So I have two displays right now, and I'm going to show you what the difference is between holding Alt and not holding Alt is. So I'll hold Alt, and I'm going to press Print Screen. Alt plus Print Screen. And from here, I'm going to go ahead and open up Photoshop, and I'm going to go File, New, and it should have the resolution preset and this is, it could be Microsoft Paint, um, if you're using a Macintosh, any type of Macintosh, uh, image software, image ed editing image software, something like that. But I'm just going to show you using first Photoshop. So after I've hit Alt Print Screen, I can go ahead and press Control V, which is Paste, and you'll see that image is right here, then I would do a file, save as, and save the image out. Okay, so here, screenshot example, zero, one. And instead of a Photoshop file, I'm going to save this out as a JPEG file, and I'm going to go ahead and click save, and click OK. Now, let's pretend Let's go back into Maya, just so you can see. I'll deselect it this time, just to show you. I'm just going to tap Print Screen. Now, when I go back into Photoshop, I'll do File, New. And you'll notice the width and the height has changed. And that's because my displays are both there because I didn't hold Alt. So holding Alt will only capture one display, where holding we're not holding Alt and just pressing print screen by itself will um, capture both screens. I think I said that right. So, another way to do this. I've included a link in our Canvas shell to a software called Jing. Now, Jing is actually a screenshot or screen capture software. and if you notice this little sphere here, this is Jing. And what it does is if I do capture, and I just click what I want to capture, you'll see capture image. And you'll notice it's actually highlighted just this part, so let me show you. And you'll see I have the entire image here. Now, it's not capturing both screens. It's just capturing the one because you have to click where you want it to. Now I can go ahead and save this out and test two. 
and it saves it out as a PNG file. Totally acceptable file format to submit. And that's it. And then it says your c capture has been saved and the file path is ready to be pasted. Open the file. Da 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 da. Go ahead and close. So if you go ahead and use Jing, that's another way to do it. So that's about the only ways I can think of off the top of my head that will work. You may have other types of screen capture ways or uh, screenshotting ways that work for your personal computer that I may have not shown you here. Whatever works, but here's a few examples of how to capture your monitor. So I want you to all take a screenshot and submit your screenshot, whether it's a JPEG or a PNG file, makes no difference. Just go ahead and submit an image file, and that's all that your assignment requires. I hope you learned something, and thanks for watching, and stay tuned for the next video.